We have two choices with our children. Failure and hardship with friends, school, family. Will they get to college? Will they ever have real friends and be able to get married? How could they ever succeed in the workforce? Our first choice is failure and hardship. The second, drugs to control their brain, at least enough to get through and hope the serious side effects don't hit them. We choose the risk of medication side effects when it's outweighed by our fear of our child's failure or extreme hardship. It's like we're in a runaway car. The gas pedal is stuck and we're coming up on a winding road with more traffic. We're starting to panic because we see no way out of the situation. The worst part of it is our family's in the car with us. We call 911. They tell us the only option is to crash the car or they can put out road spikes. We know with the road spikes, which would be drugs in the case of ADHD, and soon there will be drugs for autism also. With the road spikes, the risks are high. And you can still crash and risk the life of your family. And before I tell you how high the risks are, I'd like to tell you my family's story. My name is Dr. Jay Hobbs. I'm a board certified chiropractic neurologist and charter member of the International Association of Functional Neurology and Rehabilitation. There are fewer than 2,000 people with my credentials in the entire world. You can go to the homepage of our main website and hear about my sickly childhood. I thought I was over that until it seemed to be starting over in my newborn son. My son, now nine years old, was loved and seemingly well-nourished even well before he was born. Everything seemed to go fine with the pregnancy. But we knew early on there was a problem. To get him to sleep, we had to hold him tight and bounce him up and down for at least 30 minutes. It was physically and emotionally draining on my wife and I. If we did not do this, he would cry and cry and cry, sometimes for hours. And as he grew older, little irregularities of his schedule, things not going his way, would throw him off so much that he would have a terrible meltdown. He would become unreachable. It was like his mind had gone somewhere else. This created a strain on my marriage as well because we were very stressed and had different ideas about what should be done. Then I started to think outside the box. I had already learned how to treat adults with chronic health conditions both structurally as a chiropractor and nutritionally through years of study and application. I thought we had done well with my son. I couldn't understand what could have gone wrong. Perhaps it was bad genetics or damage I did growing up eating and drinking poorly. Or maybe it was the pesticides around where we lived. We'll never know for sure. Finally, I decided to do a thorough nutritional evaluation using the lab tests I had used regularly with my chronic fatigue patients and my, chronics, my patients with chronic digestive problems. There it was we found that his intestines weren't working properly. They weren't digesting, absorbing essential nutrients. And they were producing toxins that were irritating his body and his brain. We would never have known had we not run the tests. Tests looking for dysfunction, not disease. There was no disease, but there was much dysfunction. After addressing the problems, we found he made dramatic improvements. But I knew there was still more. I won't tell you the rest of the story, but in my journey to help him heal and live a life to the fullest, I pursued and earned a board certification in chiropractic neurology, including studying under Dr. Malello, well known for his research with childhood neural behavioral disorders, like autism, ADHD, learning disorders, and his brain balance techniques we use in our office today. I also pursued formal training in the work of Dr. Carrick, a master of functional neurology, restoring function to brains that the traditional experts have given up on. That has led me to where I am today. And that is what has led you to me. I'm not here by accident. And you are not here by accident. I think you know that by now. So what about those road spikes? The medications and their dangers? Well, medication is not my scope of practice. I do not advise people to go on or off medications but I can read the label as well as anyone. For example, Vyvanse, a new generation stimulant medicine, has the following warnings reported with use of stimulants. 
The abbreviated version is heart-related problems, mental psychiatric problems, and in child, children and teenagers, new psychotic symptoms. But they say this emergency intervention, or ones like it, are the only methods that are proven to work. It's crash with the use of road spikes. You can crash one way or the other. What if there were a third choice? Well, maybe instead of road spikes, we could downshift the gears, or even turn the key off this car that's running away. There are good options, not just failure or drugs, but actually finding and addressing the root cause, not just the symptoms. This is not a disease, it's a dysfunction. I've seen these children whose brains seem to be runaway cars, out of control and heading for a crash. Once we thoroughly evaluate neurologically and bionutritionally and address the problem comprehensively, the brain starts working more normally. The car can be controlled and we can safely and successfully continue down the road of life. Now I'm able to help others avoid some of the hardship we endured by doing thorough bionutritional testing and thorough functional neurological evaluation, then giving clear direction and therapy. I'm excited to have the privilege of working with kids and adults with ADHD, autism, and other learning disorders. My desire is to restore hope and restore health. So request a free DVD for more information or give us a call. Have a wonderful day.